Hey everybody, it's Friday, and it's the last day of the week to do the Road to the Apocalypse. So we're going to hop on into the road. We're at deadlinger.com, pop it on the road map. We're into creatures. We've already co covered a couple things. We did the uh, general zombie AI, dismemberment and gore. And today we're going to talk a little bit about zombie grappling and biting. Near and dear to my heart. So it says here, when attacking a survivor... Zombies currently have a random chance of initiating a bite. The hit indicator appears as teeth marks when the survivor is bitten, and this bite rolls for a chance to infect based on your infection risk. Biting is currently the only way to get infected. Our future plans for grappling and biting are to, cre to create a grapple sequence where the survivor's direct movement and actions affect the outcome of the grapple, either ending in safety or ending in a bite if the survivor fails to free themselves of the zombie. We are steering very far away from silly mash X repeatedly quick time events. If the survivor is overwhelmed by zombies and then gets grabbed, the only way to quickly be free from the grapple is to do the correct actions that would get you away from the group as quickly as possible. This is where cooperative play will come in handy as well. Okay, cool. That whole statement there I read is 100% accurate up until it says future plans <laughs> all right so let me tell you why so yeah currently that that feels like exactly how it works it's just totally random what happens to you i don't see anything that tells me if it's going to be a bite or what because every action that they have is them swiping their hands at you so I totally believe that it's just all randomly based. I think the only thing that really looks like it's 100% bite inflicted is the dog. You know, and I'm thinking the dog, that's pretty much about 100% chance it's going to be a bite. So you got to be very, very careful about the dogs. The zombies, yeah, I think it would be really super awesome if they get it set up to where you can see for yourself that, yeah, that was a bite. He actually bit. Because just being a, a random roll, I mean, you know, it works. It's what you have. But, you know, if you're going to be talking about physics and hitboxes and grappling and melee and all these cool things, it would be nice to know that, yeah, you can prevent yourself from getting bit. I mean, I keep referring back to The Walking Dead. You know, some of them guys, they've never been bit yet. <laughs> Because if they get bit there, they get the fever, they die, they're a zombie. You know, they get the infection, right? And they've been around several seasons and they haven't been bit yet. So it's doable. There is a way that you can get out of the melee contact with them. It's just that currently, you know, it's not happening because they said right there it's random. I mean, I admit it's pretty low, but man, it sure does suck when you see that bite mark pop up on your screen and you know... There's nothing you can do to prevent that or get rid of it. You're just stuck with the infection. You know, got to get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. So it would be nice to see a way to prevent that. Uh, so, you know, talking back into how that's going to work. So it sounds like they don't want to use a quick time event system, you know, or maybe it will be a quick time event sequence kind of a thing so he said they want to avoid rapidly pressing x so it might come down to a quick time system where you might have since normally your hands kind of rest on your WASD keys for movement it's very possible that at some point you have to push to the left push to the right because you're shaking yourself you might hit the attack button you know hit with your mouse because that's going to push on the zombie to keep it away I could see that. I think that that would be fine if they came up with a system like that. But I agree. There shouldn't be anything that's going to cause me to take my hands away from the keyboard from where they're normally comfortable in order to play some little mini game and then quickly have to get my hands back to a position where I can run or maneuver. So I agree with what they say there. They, they got to come up with something. So currently it says they're at 20%. Well, that 20% does include what we just talked about. The zombie swinging, hitting you, and then having that small percentage chance of that registering as a bite, and then you getting some infection level, 
and then it checking to see if you actually get infected because your infection level went up. That's there. So now I am ready to see where the rest of that goes to find out exactly how this is going to, uh, you know, plan out, <clears throat> excuse me, plan out for future quick time events. Mm. Yeah, it says the only way to get away would be, you know, quickly do your actions to get away. Uh, and with a cooperative play, you know, that would be good too because, you know, you might have opportunity with a melee weapon to hit the zombie to knock them off. Okay, that would be fun. Um, or shoot them. In some way, make it easier for you to get away from the zombie. That that would be nice. And the grappling system makes sense because you do watch a lot of shows and that's that's what the zombie does is it grapples you. And a lot of times when you watch those movies or shows and the zombie is on the person trying to get them, um, that's a big event. You know, either they've got a, a the rifle and they're trying to jab the rifle up in the mouth so they can't be bit and they're pushing on them and things like trying to drip saliva and blood on them. And what's nice is during that whole time, no other zombie seems to be moving in. It's like just a nice, you know, wait your turn. Okay, I'm done with this zombie. Let the next one on. But the way that their game currently works, I don't think it would... It probably might have to work out that way too. Because once you have a zombie that engages you in the grappling action, it's going to have to focus all the action on that. You know, it, there's no way it could have you trying to run that mini game sequence on two different zombies at once. So I don't know, now that I think about it, I don't know if that would be cool is where it currently is where it's just a mob and they all just kind of get on you and start attacking. I think the grappling system will look cool. I don't know if it's going to turn up to be kind of a gamey mechanic where they just kind of are waiting in queue to come get you one at a time. I will see though. 20%, we still got a long ways to go. And I haven't seen or heard of them uh, adding anything towards the grappling system in this update. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer. But anyway, that's some uh, thoughts and ideas on the zombie grappling. So if you've got any thoughts or comments about zombie grappling and what you want to see as far as that goes, you know, leave some comments. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Hopefully I'll be able to talk about it be better later because I still got some throat issue and I know that makes me sound a little weird or hard to understand at times so thank you for putting up with it hopefully i'll be much easier to understand and have a conversation with next week <laughs> all right have a good weekend everybody stay well